Hey, it's overtime with Pastor Brian in my cluttered office here at the Sweet Home Evangelical Church. And this is where we wrap up Sunday's message. And Sunday we talked about conditions for answered prayer. There is a little bit of fine print in the Bible there where God doesn't promise to answer every prayer. Uh, some prayers, God's going to say no. Uh, sometimes God's going to say maybe or wait or have some different idea. Uh, but there are conditions where we need to be, you know, have this relationship with God. We need to have a forgiving attitude towards others. And, and the last point that I talked about Sunday morning was how we need to pray in Jesus name. And, uh, and that's, uh, I talked about that a bit, but that's huge there, praying in Jesus' name. Um, when I went to college, I went to Bible college up in Canada there, Hillcrest Christian College. And a uh, uh, little Bible college up there, I had all kinds of fun. That's where I met my wife and everything. And uh, I, I have in my files, I found some letterhead from Hillcrest. Now... I don't ask me how I got some, okay? It was just laying around. And uh, I was, uh, one time, I was in the academic dean's office, and uh, don't ask don't ask too many questions. The statute of limitations has run out, but he was not there at the time. And he had a signature stamp. So instead of writing his signature, he just had a stamp where he would just stamp and the signature would be on there. And so... I grabbed a few of the college letterhead uh, things and then uh, stamped his signature on a few pieces of paper. And so that sounds horrible. It sounds like a hooligan there, but you know, it, it, it's, it's a little bit like identity theft too. Uh, because then what I did was I would type up a letter and then put it in somebody's mailbox uh, at the college there. And, and so it would be college letterhead, it had the signature of the academic dean, and I would address it to them and tell them that they're failing a class and they need to make that up. And the way they can make up their grade is by washing Brian Hotram's car or something. And so <laughs> uh, I thought it was hilarious, but, you know, it's a little bit of identity theft and uh, there's all kinds of scams these days, so don't fall for those. But here's the point. The point is it had had the academic dean's name on it, Randy, uh, Randy Stein one, had his name on it, but that wasn't what he wanted to have. That wasn't a message he wanted to communicate. And a lot of times when we pray, we add the words in Jesus name. But when we do that, we also need to be praying in accordance with God's will because I stole or borrowed, uh, Randy's signature stamp, uh, there were things, you know, I sent out a couple letters to my friends as a joke and, and they got a message in Randy's name, but it wasn't according to his will. And, and that's the, that's the big deal with prayer. When we pray and we pray in Jesus name, we're also, we're, we're praying because of what Jesus has done for us. He opened the way for us to go to God. We can actually have our prayers go to God because of Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. But our prayers also need to be in according to his will. And so we are praying according to the will of Jesus when we pray. And, and so that's, that's a huge part of prayer. And too many times, I know, I, I don't know about you, but I, I know I've prayed plenty of selfish prayers. And Lord, I'm stuck. Lord, I'm in trouble. Help me out with this. And we pray those prayers. And God cares about those. But we also need to make sure that we are praying prayers that are according to his will. Because that's also important in getting our prayers answered. Because we do. We want God's will to be done. I know that God's plans and God's will are so much better than my plans. And so I am, over the years, it's taken me a while, but over the years I've learned it's much better to wait for God's plans rather than to insist that God bless my plans. And so we are praying in Jesus' name. And that means we want to pray in according to his will. And we're not just signing his name at the bottom of a letter uh, that uh, has nothing to do with what Jesus would want to have done here in this world.
Anyway, that was wrapping up today's uh, or last Sunday's message on prayer. Uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to uh, finish up our just our three-part series on prayer. We're going to look at Jesus's message, uh, Jesus's prayer uh, for the church in uh, John chapter 17. Hey, Lord bless you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.